But how you see the lessons of Iraq, Senator Obama? Well, this is an area where Senator McCain and I have a fundamental difference. Because I think the first question is whether we should have gone into the war in the first place. Now, uh, six years ago, uh, I stood up and opposed this war at a time when it was politically risky to do so. Because I said that not only did we not know how much it was going to cost, what our exit strategy might be, uh, how it would affect our relationships around the world, and whether our intelligence was sound, but also because we hadn't finished the job in Afghanistan. We hadn't caught bin Laden. We hadn't put uh, al-Qaeda to rest. And as a consequence, uh, I thought that it was going to be a distraction. Now, Senator McCain and President Bush had a very different judgment. Uh, and I wish I had been wrong for the sake of the country, and they had been right. But that's not the case. We've spent over $600 billion so far, soon to be a trillion. We have lost over 4,000 lives. We have seen 30,000 wounded. And most importantly, from the, a strategic national security perspective, al-Qaeda is resurgent stronger now than at any time since 2001. And so, so John, likes, John, you like to pretend like the war started in 2007. You talk about the surge. The, the war started in 2003. And, the, and at the time when the war started, you said it was going to be quick and easy. You said we knew where the weapons of mass destruction were. You were wrong. You said that we were going to be greeted as liberators. You were wrong. You said that it, uh, there was no history of violence between Shia and Sunni. And you were wrong. And we also have to recognize that this is a final verdict on eight years of failed economic policies promoted by George Bush, supported by Senator McCain, uh, a theory that basically says that we can shred regulations and consumer protections and give more and more to the most, and somehow prosperity will trickle down. Uh, it hasn't worked. Uh, and I think that the fundamentals of the economy have to be measured by whether or not the middle class is getting a fair shake. That's why I'm running for president. That's what I hope we're going to be talking about tonight. We have to fix our health care system, which is putting an enormous burden on families. Just uh, A report just came out that the average deductible went up 30 percent on American families. They are getting crushed, and many of them are going bankrupt as a consequence of health care. I'm meeting folks all over the country. We have to do that now because it will actually make our businesses and our families better off.